Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Maximum Football 2020 logo editor. So on the right side of your screen you have your tools here. You have move part, so you can see move it, scale, rotate, skew, part order will be choosing if you want one letter or shape on top of the other, mirror the part, flip um, the side horizontally or vertically, and then shape or letter. So to get started, you're going to push down on the right analog stick. So you're going to do that, and you're going to get a letter. Now if you hold R2, you can see in the top right corner of my screen, this is the menu. So I'm going to go down to Shape Actions. This is where you will be able to choose the letter. So let's say I want to make an O. Okay. So I'm going to go to O where it's highlighted. You see I have that box around it. I'm then going to hold down R2 and go back to my canvas actions. Now I can scale this, move it around, and such. So we're going to make it this size. We're going to make it kind of thin. Now to edit the color of this shape, you can see it says color part. That RS is the right analog stick. So I could use these to make it a bunch of different colors. So we're going to make this one yellow. So now I have my first part done. Now how do you make a second part? So what you're going to do is you're going to hold R2 again and go back to shape actions. Now you are going to then hit duplicate. Once you click duplicate, you are now controlling the second shape. So I could then move my stick and make it an M, let's say. We'll make it an A. I then go back to canvas actions. So you could see this is a separate shape. Now let's say I make this A. Now if I want to go back to the O, I'll simply click R1 or L1. This will change which object you're selecting. So I'll make this a bit bigger. Now, let's say instead of making a letter, you want to do a shape. I'm now going to go back to Shape Action, click Duplicate, go back to Canvas. You see now I'm controlling this new one, this new um, selection. Now let's say I want to make this a shape or something besides a letter. I'm going to click down on the right stick again. See that shape and or letter section? So I'm going to click down on the right stick, go to my shape actions. Again, this is where you'll be able to change what it looks like. And I could cycle through these pages. So let's say I just want to make it this diamond-esque shape. I'm not going to click anything once I get to it, as I've already duplicated the previous shape. I'm going to go back to Canvas. You see I can move this. Now let's say I want to make this really big and go in the background. How would I do this? Well, all you do is you look at your tools and you hit the Part Order. Click it once, and this will now go behind that shape. And I could change the color so it's now visible, obviously. And again, by hitting R1 or L1, the select part, I could change <clears throat> which object I'm selecting. So now, all you want to do to save the logo is hold down R2. Again, this opens up the menu in the top right corner. And instead of Shape Actions, you're going to go down to File. All you do is you click Save Logo. Once you do that, I maybe click it once or twice just to make absolutely sure it's saved. You are then going to hit the Options button. As you can see in the bottom right corner, it says Main Menu, Options. Click that button. Are you sure you'd like to exit? Yes. 
I then could go to say a team or players and now select this logo from the logo editor. And that's how you use the logo editor for Maximum Football 2020. Um, shout out to the team at Canuck Play for making you know such a great football experience and for the hard work they put in yesterday to get the patch out for PlayStation um, and Xbox. Real excited to play this game. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.